Hello. Um, so this video is on COVID-19's global impact on jobs and what government is doing uh, to help. So on April 7th, 2020, the International Labor Organization announced that job loss worldwide due to COVID-19 will likely be significantly higher than its original estimate of up to 25 million jobs. For some workers and companies, um, it has been possible to work from home <laughs> and temporarily and to stop the spread of COVID-19. However, occupational fields that require face-to-face -face contact like retail, food and dining, te teaching, um, and others are facing a significant reduction in hours or potential even job loss in light of the spread of COVID-19. So this is going to cover how COVID-19 is impacting jobs around the world which industries are more, most affected and what some companies or organizations have been doing to assist people in finding financial support during this time. So if you're curious about um, a recent comparison point, the global recession of 2008-2009 increased unemployment globally by 22 million. If the International Labor Organization's estimate of the impact of COVID-19 is accurate, um, then more unemployment will result from COVID-19 as compared to the global recession. As a specific example, recent data of the mid-March 2020 indicates that around 5 million people in China, the world's second largest economy, lost jobs in January and February. In early April 2020, the um, Intentional Labor Organization, or ILO, found that over 81% of workers around the globe have been affected by either complete or partial reduction of hours due to workplace closures. Even though businesses in China are starting to look back to work now, um, it is believed that this high rate of unemployment will fall in the second half of the 2020, and more job losses are expected, and companies are slowly recovering. Companies in China who have recovered uh, the fastest were companies that looked ahead, meaning that they were able to reopen stores more quickly than their competitors and workers were able to go back to work more quickly. The best thing that you can do as an employee um, is con uh, constantly be thinking about how your organization or company can respond proactively, proactively to issues that may arise from COVID-19. This called for creative thinking and stepping outside the box. Um, so what industries were most affected? Any industry in which it would be challenging to transition to working from home for a time has been significantly affected. This includes retail, agriculture, forestry, fishing, and mining. For example, Germany is known for its pork products, but because pork production has dropped in China, Germany um, consumers, German consumers of pork are going to notice a rise in prices. Similarly, the mining industry is expected to be the hardest hit sector of the American economy due to its dependency on commodity, commodity prices. Less surprising industries that have been majorly impacted by COVID-19 include transportation and travel, food service and accommodation, um, in arts and entertainment and recreation. Businesses and industries that handled uh, the outbreak of COVID-19 well worked in between industries if possible. For example, a good number of restaurants, hotels, and cinemas um, shared workers with a supermarket chain that needed workers to deliver goods to respond to a spike in online purchasing. This sharing between industries benefited both the workers and customers who could still be paid and who got the goods they needed respectively. If you're in an industry that has been hit hard by COVID-19, maybe there's another industry where you and your others could work temporarily. Um, so where to find financial support? A variety of internal, uh, international organizations are stepping up to assist countries, organizations, and ultimately individuals in dealing with financial impact of COVID-19. For example, as of mid-March 2020, the World Bank and IFC approved a $14 billion package to help support financial institutions so that they can continue financing other businesses, companies directly impacted by COVID-19, like tourism and manufacturing, um, and any organization responding to COVID-19, as such as medical professionals. Many countries are also reporting, uh, responding in similar ways. For example, as of mid-March 2020, 
Italy's political leaders approved a $25 billion uh, package to help those dealing with the financial impacts of COVID-19. There are subsidies for individuals who are self-employed, as well as nine-month mortgage relief plan for self-employed and non-salaried workers whose income has dropped substantially. Um, countries in Africa are offering, are offering various social safety net policies from rescheduled social security contributions in um, Uganda to emergency income grants to unemployed workers in Nambia. To see what financial supports is available for you, consider visiting the government website for your country as well as your local community. For example, if you live in the United States, you should consult the government's all-inclusive page on COVID-19, which discusses whether you might be um, to find financial assistance as well as a variety of other concerns. Great Britain is another country that has a COVID-19 page, which has a section on employment and financial support uh, where you can click on different options, such as check if you can get statutory sick pay. You may also want to ask your neighbors and friends who live nearby about what organizations are providing financial support in your community. You may also find, be able to find this information online. Additionally, you could check with your particular internet service provider to see if it's providing some relief. Um, some companies are waiving late fees and opening up Wi-Fi hotspots to anyone who might have a need. You may even want to talk to you, call your bank to see if there is any assistance that can be provide like fee waivers for removing money early from a CD or delay mortgage payment during a pandemic as many European banks have them. Um, since the World Health Organization has deemed COVID-19 a global pandemic, there's definitely going to be a significant impact on jobs around the world, particularly in industry that are unable to work from home for this period of time. Fortunately, many governments and um, international organizations private and non-profit organizations are doing everything they can to help anyone who is in financial need do job loss or reduction in number of hours worked as a result of COVID-19. If you find yourself in a position where your hours have been reduced or you've lost your job, remember that there are resources and help um, available from so many sources, both internationally and locally. You are not alone. So thanks for watching.